What's up my Taylor family? It's your girl Taylor Mae Jane here and we are back with another video. So today I am do showing you guys how I apply these false lashes and make them look so realistic and so pretty and so beautiful yet so natural. I'm going to show you guys how I got so close to my lash line and how I blended it in and made it look like it's growing out of my eyes by themselves, okay? So if y'all want to see how this came out, make sure y'all keep on watching. All right, babe, so we're here to do a lash, how I apply my lashes, a dedicated um, video so you guys can see in detail how I do that because I have not been doing my lashes in my videos lately and I just figured it'd be better if I just do one dedicated video. So today I am using Kiss Lash. They sent me so many different styles. I am so happy. These ones are called Little Black Dress. All of these are called Little Black Dress. Okay. They sent me these, a pack of two. And then they also sent me these in a in style gala. And these are the lashes I'm going to be using today to apply. So first, I just start off, I keep my handy dandy mirror next to me because I need to be like all up in my grill, okay? So I keep my mirror next to me. I start by doing my mascara first. It's just a lot easier for me to do my mascara first because it keeps my lashes, uh, my lashes don't get as dirty. And to me, it just blends better. Oops. Got mascara right on my lid. And y'all see how my mirror is like under my chin? Like, I keep it right there because it makes the eyelid really flat. So when you apply your lashes, they apply very easy. My eyelashes are so small. They've never grown back ever since I got individual lashes. Well, the cluster lash. So I'm gonna take my lashes out the pack. These are so cute. I've worn these already, you guys. If you've seen my look on Instagram with the blue eyeliner, this look here. I was wearing these same lashes in this picture here. And they were so cute. I fell in love with them and I was really happy with how they came out. I just trimmed the little ends off of it right in here. So that it won't stab me in my inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to take my tweezer. I always like to apply my right lash first. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I like to do. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little more like all the way in to where you guys can see my lash line perfect. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take my handy dandy mirror, put it underneath my chin, and as y'all can see, I'm looking like all the way down. I'm gonna take my lash and I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna get as close as my lash as possible. And I'm gonna drop it. Then I'm gonna take my inner corner because that part seems to dry the fastest. We're gonna allow that to dry just a bit. But look at that lash, y'all. This lash is so pretty. I even used this on uh, my friend the other day. If you want, you can go in and push it under the skin and it'll literally help hide the lash band. Look at that. It just looks like skin. 
if you want to hide the lash band. You go in and you push it like upward like this and it'll connect to the skin because the strip is not covered in that top part area. And that's it y'all, look at how beautiful these lashes are blending in. You don't want any gaps in between your lashes and your false lash. So this is the best and easy way to do it. And you will have no spaces in between and it just looks so beautiful. So let's zoom out. Y'all, lashes are slayed, okay? If you want them to look, you know, more curled and more, you know, up, you could just take it and push it up. These lashes are so pretty. I think I'm gonna end up wearing these today when I do my eyeshadow. Because even when I do my eyeshadow, I still put like these lashes on, even when the eyeshadow is like very dramatic, because it honestly just complements so well. So cute. <laughs> That's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial. Bye.